and task tutorial how to get things done hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get started with n task so let's get into it now the first step is that you go on to ntaskmanager.com and then you're just going to click on sign up for free at the top right and then you can sign up with your email address or your gmail account so i'm just going to sign up with google because it's a lot easier for you to manage all of your stuff from google so we're just going to click on over here and we are just going to wait for this to load up or you can even sign up with your email whatever is quicker for you i'm going to continue on like so and now i've got mail so i'm just going to verify it with and task to log into my account so i'm just going to continue with google and the setup process on Ntask is very simple. It's a very simple to use and neat program. And that is why I find Ntask to be especially helpful is that they are a very simple to use and neat program. And I find that a lot of project management softwares and other softwares are so littered with stuff that you don't really need. So this allows you to have a project management software, a team, a work environment where you will be able to uh, further do your work without having any distractions. So once you are signed up via your email address or your Google account, you're just going to be welcomed on board and you're going to enter your name. You're going to create a password for your account. So we're just going to do that. And then you're going to confirm your password. So we're just going to do that over here. And now you're just going to click on continue. Now you're going to add your team name. So let's say this is going to be um, Eagles. And then our workspace name would be um, Eagle Clothing Line. And then you can add your original data center wherever you want your data to be stored. We're just going to continue with the United States. And then you're going to add your work industry. So let's say we have fashion. We're going to add that. And then you're going to add your own personal job title. So we're just going to add our own personal title. So I'm just going to take a look at the different titles. And I'm just going to add myself as the creative director so i'm just going to continue with creative director and then you're going to add how many people are going to be using ntask so let's say two to five and then after that you're going to add how you heard about this so we're going to say google ads and then you're just going to click on continue and then you can start adding your teammates onto your ntask account so i'm just going to click on take me to ntask to begin setting up my workspace so you can see once you have set up everything this is what it's going to be looking like so this is your basic task dashboard and on your left, you're going to find your navigation panel on your top. You have your Eagles team then you have your team settings and your workspace dashboard. So you have this workspace dashboard and then below that you have your Eagles clothing line. So the clothing line workspace is a separate workspace from the actual Eagles team. So the Eagles team could have like a marketing workspace, a sales workspace, a uh, any other workspace. So let's say if I go onto this workspace, I click on workspace settings and I can just click on delete workspace and I'm just going to enter the workspace name so we're going to delete this like this and then you can create like separate workspaces for separate sections so let's go to the workspace dashboard let's enter one workspace which would be marketing and this is all going to be in the eagles section so we're going to add marketing we're going to add sales and both of these are present within the eagles workspace uh, or eagles team so eagles teammates can be in the either the marketing or sales section and then if you're a manager you're going to be on both so once you do that let's say you select your marketing workspace and you open this up once you have like a workspace open you're going to find on your left you have the projects the boards tasks meeting timesheets and issues and risks for your project so like if i go on to my task section and I can just click on add new. So let's say in the marketing section, this could be Facebook ads review. And then you can assign it to a specific person. I'm just gonna assign it to myself and you can click on show more to add priorities of your task as well. So let's say this is a high priority and then you can add the status to in progress and then you can add a due date. I'm going to add this due date and you can even add a time to your due date and then you can add a description to the task as well. I'm just going to skip that. You can also attach links, images and videos to your task as well. So I'm just going to click on create task like this and now you can see I have my task created. You can call it a task, you can call it a ticket and once you have your task created you can also change it to a specific color. So to denote like a specific type of task, you can label them a certain color. Maybe all of the Facebook related tasks, I can label them as green or blue. And if I have some tasks that are related to other social media platforms, I can label them a certain color just so it's easier for you to distinguish. Now, let's create a few more tasks like um, Twitter ads. And then I'm going to add a few more tasks like 
I'll contact investor. Then I'm going to add marketing goals meeting like this. And then with every task, you can just click on these three dots on the right side over here to further illustrate what kind of task they will be. You can add more filters. You can add more information. Just click on the task and then you have the overall look of the task. Now, the best part about end task is that it allows you local timesheets and tracking. So right here, you have your task section. Below that, you'll also have your meeting section. So you can add all of your meetings just by clicking on add new meeting. And then, um, you can even click on add new at the top left over here and let's say this is a meeting and then you can add the meeting over here so this could be marketing plan overview for summer or for april and then you can add the date for this let's say it's going to be 22 and then you can add any kind of specific tasks that are going to be completed or done within this meeting and then you can add the location of your meeting and then the participants as well and then you can just click on create new meeting and then you have your meetings added now you can also click on import slash export and you can import your meeting files if you already have some csv files then you can import them over here as well below that you have your timesheet so you can track time on end task and that is what i love about end task and that other a lot of other project management softwares don't have first off it's neat and clean and then you have a simple time tracker that allows you to add your billable hours add your non-billable hours it makes it simple and easy for you to keep track of everything so let's say if i go onto my tasks and i am going to begin doing the um Twitter ad task. So what I can just do is once I click on my task and I'm going to start doing my task, I can turn on this timer and then I can just go on and continue and do my task on my phone, laptop, whatever. And once I have finished the task, what I can do is I can stop this. And obviously if it's less than one minute, it won't be recorded. But obviously if you're working on the actual task, it will be recorded because you obviously you're gonna be working for more than one or one or two minutes. But it's going to add that time and then you can label those as billable or non-billable hours. So you can see you have your Twitter ads, you have all of the time. Let's say I add a certain amount of time. So I can add three hours and 41 minutes and I can just click on add time. And now this time has been added into my timesheets. And just like that, you can add your time entries. And then you also have your pending and approval section. So whatever timesheets that you add, you can get them approved from your manager. Or if you are the manager, you can receive all of the timesheets and then approve of them as per the employee's work that they have done. Now below that, you have your issues section as well. So if your team is facing any issues, they can just click on this, add their issue, and they can add their issue type. So if it's a feature, if it's a bug, if it's an improvement, and then they can assign to a certain person. So any kind of issues that your team is dealing with can be resolved quick, quickly and instantaneously. And you don't have to, you know, go on to like Slack or some other platform and then communicate with your manager. And then the manager can, you know, further tell it to the appropriate person that is going to fix your issue. All of that can be done over here. And then below that, you have your risk section, but this is only available on the premium version. And then you have your account. And if you click on your account, you have sign out, activity logs, and you have invitations and profile settings as well. Now, briefly, let's take a look at the building section of Entask. So Entask is only available on paid versions. It does not have a free version. You can get a 14-day free trial of the premium business or enterprise version. And you can see the premium version starts at $4 per month if it is built yearly and the business version starts at $12 per month. You can see that for most people, I find that the $4 version is enough. And depending on the number of users, obviously the price is going to increase, obviously, See, if you have 50 users, it's going to be 150 a month. If it's going to be, and the business version is going to be $400 a month. And you can click on over here to take a look at the different features that they have. So on the basic version and premium version, you have unlimited teams, workspaces, and tasks. Then you have things like group by sections. You have advanced things like Gantt chart views, Kanban views, uh, bulk actions, safe custom reports, subtasks, task dependencies, milestones. This stuff you can't do on the basic version. For that, you will have to upgrade to the premium version of and tasks so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video